Hello, hello. It's time once again to take a Q Acoustics loudspeaker out of its packaging. This time it's the Concept 500. And no, this is not an optical illusion. This is Q Acoustics' largest, most expensive, and most ambitious ever loudspeaker. As it says on the side here, caution, two person lift required. There's one speaker in here and it weighs 42 kilos, which is 92 pounds in the old money. Uh, despite the fact it says two person lift here, I carried this all the way here myself. And budgets being what they are, I'm gonna take it out of the box by myself as well. Don't do this at home. This is the time to call in a favor or two, get all of your burly friends round and have a getting a loudspeaker out of its box party. So there it is, a Q Acoustics Concept 500, out of the box, just one fella. Don't do it that way yourself. So, here is the smallest box, which came inside the smaller box, which was inside the big box. And it's, uh, well, beautifully engineered sound, apparently. I'm not sure that that's what's in here, but I'm sure it'll all help. Uh, instruction manual, owner's manual, congratulations first and foremost, and then a lot of technical specification. All of that's available on the Q Acoustics website, or you can read it in any number of languages here. And inside, four very chunky floor spikes. These are always good news to isolate your speaker from the floor it's standing on. And there are four cutaways here as well for the more rounded spikes which the speaker is sitting on when it comes out of the box. There's also, uh, a bridge for trimming high frequency response. We'll talk a bit more about that when we have a look at the back of the speaker itself. And then, oh, you see, you shouldn't be without. These speakers, Concept 500, have seven layers of lacquer on them, and they will pick up a fingerprint, especially if, you know, you've been standing under the lights like I have, in which case, a quick dust down every now and then is gonna do wonders for the look of them. So basically, in the bottom of the box with your loudspeaker in it is everything you need to make your speaker look and sound lovely. So the Concept 500 is out of its box and as you can see, this is a handsome and actually quite discreet floor stander. Nothing like as big as the packaging might have led you to fear. Uh, first things first is the finish. As you can see, it's beautiful. There's seven layers of lacquer on here. You can see your face in it, which is very much a double-edged sword in some circumstances. Uh, it's also a dual finish. Uh, Q Acoustics realizes that quite expensive floor standing speakers have almost always been in a wood finish, um, but Q Acoustics is a bit more forward looking than that. So what you have is a cabinet that is a solid color and a wood finish, which is far more interesting than the normal and also serves to, to minimize the, the dimensions of this speaker a little bit. Uh, this is silver and ebony as a finish. You can also have white and oak and black and rosewood. So something for every interior decor. Up front, we have two 165 mil mid bass drivers uh, sandwiching a 25 millimeter silk dome tweeter with a wave dispersion guide. Um, so that'll shift about as much air as is necessary. Uh, much like the Concept 20 loudspeakers that we discussed, but more so, there is further unboxing to be done here. It's just that I'm not going to do it. Inside this cabinet, there are two more cabinet walls uh, decoupled using the Q Acoustics gel core technology. So it's extraordinarily strong and stable and inert and there's point to point bracing inside as well. And then right down at the bottom here, you can see this stands on uh, a chrome plinth. It's had cutaways either side so that that decreases the possibility of resonance. It stands on spikes so that it decouples from the floor and you get all of the uh, acoustic activity moving forwards rather than downwards. Right, well, I'm gonna turn this around now because unusually for a loudspeaker at any price, the Q Acoustics Concept 500 are almost as interesting at the back as they are at the front. So around the back, there's a plate with all of the crossover gobbins behind it. And this thing, remember this from a minute or two ago? You can use this bridge to trim the treble response 
of a Concept 500, depending on where you position it. And that allows you to be able to get uh, a truly satisfying sound out of this speaker, no matter where in your listening room it is. And then further down, there's a base reflex port, which uh, is bungable, like all proper loudspeakers. In this case, there's a possibility of getting three positions for the, the bass response from the reflex port. You can have it wide open like that. You can bung it up to a point like so, or you can completely bung it depending on where in the room you have the speaker and indeed how much bass you like. Further down again and right at the bottom are the binding posts for the speaker cable. It's a bi-wire configuration, of course. Nice chunky posts that will accept a four millimeter banana plug. Q Acoustics voiced the Concept 500 using QED Supremus speaker cable, the Rolls-Royce of speaker cable. You may not wish to go all that way, but you should certainly consider bi-wiring these speakers to hear them at their best. So that is Concept 500, Q Acoustic's most expensive loudspeaker. But I tell you, even before it makes a sound, it looks and it feels like every penny's worth. For more information about this, the most ambitious speaker Q Acoustic's has ever built, you can go to the Q Acoustic's website and get chapter and verse.